What's up guys, JJ here, and it's been a couple weeks since we set up this tank right here with African Cichlids. We've made a few changes which I'm going to update you on, and then we got some more changes to make, so stay tuned. So yeah, it's been a couple weeks and the tank's doing great. Um, we haven't had any problems with our levels, so I think using that or reusing that older gravel and some of that older filter media we had no problem cycling the tank I didn't have any problems with ammonia I, I saw nitrite at like one at one point so we did a quick water change I put a little bit of hornwort in there for the just in case and it's been at zero ever since so last video we only had six yellow labs I managed to find a couple more I can't find the quantity I want though so we got a couple more, we made some friends, we picked up um, some different cichlids that were sitting in my patio pond. They were homeless, we had to get them in a, a tank inside. I'm not sure if they'll stay here or not. Then we got a couple of, these were sold to me as zebras, these orange ones. They were sold to me as red zebras. And, I don't know, they're mixed with something. They almost look like OB, like small OB peacocks. So I don't know about those guys, but they're in there. And um, then right here we've got, well, where'd they go? Why are they moving so much? They must think I'm about to feed them. So we've got some giraffe haps, a.k.a. Venustus. Now the Venustus are going to be tricky. I don't know how long they'll be able to stay in here because they have a different diet from the Embuna and they get larger faster. So this could be a temporary home. I already have another tank planned out for them, but I'm growing them up in here together. So things are going really well. I think the, oh, the numbers spiked a little bit when I added the first batch of, well, the next batch of fish into the tank, but everything should be good to go now. And let's get some fish in there. So all in all, we've got like, I think it's eight yellow labs right now. And there's about six Venusis in there. And I wanted to have at least a dozen labs to just get a good enough group for them to school in. They're actually really neat. They school, or shoal at least, a lot more than any cichlid that I've had before. Um, so I wanted at least a dozen to get a group for that and maybe some breeding later. So I've got, did I say eight in the tank right now? Well, guess what? I've got some down here in, uh, a holding tank. They've been on meds for a couple days. So we've got four more labs in here, which makes a dozen. And then I should be done adding fish to this aquarium for a while. So we've got to get a, a bucket and a net, scoop these guys out, and put them in with the other fish. So that's going to be the last of the labs we add. We'll be at close to 20 fish at this point, so we'll pretty much be done adding and just let everybody grow out. But I've got them in tank water already in this bucket, so we don't have to acclimate them. We can just kind of plop them in. There they go. Oops. So they really just jumped in with everybody else really quick. I can't even tell who the new fish are. Oh, there's one. This guy is kind of looking for the edge of the world over here in the corner. There we go, looking good. Oh yeah, I added a, I added a pleco, guys. He's been growing for a while. He came from back home with me. He made the long trip all the way down to Southwest Florida with us, and he's keeping my glass nice and clean for now. But yeah, they're looking good. Look at him go. No odd man out. They pretty much come together. Now, I don't know what the growth rate is like for these or the maturity, but I think we're going to have some really cool fish. I love this tank. Um, it's been fun being able to put more fish in a tank than when I was doing New World Cichlids. But while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to show you guys what they've kind of been doing here. I haven't kept Africans really, so I haven't seen how neat it is the way they like go through the rocks. This isn't an African cichlid. I'm making a point. Labs, get in here. All right. So you guys see like this little hole right here? There were rocks right there. 
I can show you there are rocks right there. They've been working on pushing them out, and they swim out of the smallest little holes, like in and out of here and in and out of here, and they really hide in this rock structure a lot. So I've seen them pop out of this place, and these are all gaps that were filled in. So kind of cool uh, watching them do that. They hide in little places I didn't even think they could fit in. And I almost forgot, so this tank has been set up for a while, but over there is my 75 gallon. I think we're gonna put some Oscars in that, so stay tuned for that video. And your boy just did an aquascape that day. Let me, let, me, let me show you what I'm working with here too. Our guppy tank is doing good, or looking good, doing well. If you guys haven't seen that setup video, make sure you find that one. So we've got a lot going on guys, uh, so I'm really excited. If you're enjoying and you want to stay tuned, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. But um, yeah, I'm so excited that the fish, not the fish room, because I kind of have it more spread out than I used to. What do we call it? It's just a fish house now. It's a fish house, I live in a fish house. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited that everything's coming together and I'll see you guys in the next one.